Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Science is fascinating, and in many cases, bafflingly terrifying. One thing about many scientists in science fiction is that they often create creatures that are monstrous in appearance and behavior, or otherwise quite bizarre. But what if we told you that it's just not limited to fiction, and humans have created animals using gene modification methods? In this video, we are looking at 10 mysterious creatures created by mad scientists. <laughs> Number one features a mouse. So weird that it will haunt your dreams. So stay tuned for that. Let's begin. Number 10, Mongalica. Let's start this list with the Mongalica pig. The old world breed pig is indigenous to Hungary. Bred by an emperor and nearly killed off by communists, the Hungarian Mangelica pig has been through a lot during its nearly two centuries of existence. This pig came into being in 1833, when wild pigs were crossed with domestic pigs. Not only does the Mangalica have a lot of lard, but it also has a lot of curly hair, which makes it resemble a sheep. The fleece can be black or red, but most commonly is blonde. The Mangelica is the last pig in existence to sport this unusual fleece, and it was nearly lost to extinction in the 1990s, when fewer than 200 pigs remained in Hungary. Fortunately, they were saved and are now in everyone's weekly meal plan in Hungary. The world really does love a good comeback story, even more so when it ends with a plate of pork chops. Number 9. Glowing Mice You've heard of glow-in-the-dark shirts, bands, and even glow-in-the-dark chains, but you've almost certainly not seen a glow-in-the-dark mouse. Stanford University scientists, however, have made them possible. But how did they do this, and most importantly, why? Well, the scientists made use of compounds to create the protein that fireflies use to light up. The scientists refined compounds that carry instructions for assembling the proteins that make fireflies light up and use those refined proteins to create mice that glow in the dark, just like fireflies. So what happened to the mice after they started to glow? Nothing, really. It continued living life normally. But why was this done? This is surely not some weird flex, right? Yes, it's not. The creation of the glow-in-the-dark mice marks a great leap forward for gene therapy. These scientists were not just able to show that they can get protein instructions, which are called mRNA, into a cell. They also showed that they were able to force those cells to follow the instructions of the mRNA. Basically, if this procedure could work well for rats, it could work well for humans and provide new opportunities for treating genetic illnesses. Number 8. Silk Spinning Goats First, there was Spider-Man, then there was Spider-Pig, but Spider-Goat? That's right, researchers from the University of Wyoming found a way to edit the DNA of a goat with that of a spider and, you guessed it, create a web-spinning goat. It's pretty cool and all, but why would anyone need a web-spinning goat in the world? As it turns out, there are multiple uses for spider silk in medicine, including artificial ligaments, tendons, eye sutures, and jaw repair. What's more, there is also potential for using spider silk as bulletproof vests and airbags. Unfortunately, as you might imagine, an individual spider would take a very long time to create enough silk for commercial applications. This means that the medical applications that require it are still very expensive, and the prospect of expanding its uses is a daunting one. Since the agricultural revolution, the answer to this question has typically been farming. However, experiments in spider farming have proven very difficult, if not impossible. But thanks to silk spinning goats, large quantities of silks can be harvested from the goat's milk, meaning that the product can be easily farmed and sold for a fraction of the price as spider silk. Number 7. Zombie Dogs Most of us agree that dogs are pretty innocent and peaceful creatures. That wasn't the case back in the early 20th century, when dogs dogs were frowned upon in the Soviet Union. An experiment was carried out that will leave you speechless. In 1940, Russian scientists released a video of a severed dog head that was kept alive for several hours, wiggling its ears in response to sounds and even licking its mouth. Yes, you heard that right. The scientists claimed that they could keep the animals alive by an artificial blood circulation system. But that was just the first time scientists had created zombie dogs. 
In 2005, American scientists created another pack of zombie dogs. According to the researchers, the team rapidly killed the dogs by flushing all the blood in their bodies and replacing it with oxygen and sugar-filled saline. Three hours later, the team gave the dogs a blood transfusion and an electric shock. Lo and behold, the dogs were resurrected, and while some had permanent damage, most were completely fine. The research suggested that the treatment could one day revive people who are hemorrhaging blood too quickly for doctors to repair their injuries. Do you agree with such practices? Let us know in the comments. Number 6. Jag Lion these animals will definitely leave you speechless. A jag lion is a rare cross between a male jaguar and a female lion. Yes, it's even rarer than a liger. When it first appeared in the photo, most people thought it was fake. But to everyone's surprise, this breed is very real. While some call the unusual black cat a jag lion, others call it a liguire. This is one of the panthera hybrids, which is a crossbreed between any of four species, tigers, lions, jaguars, and leopard, in captivity. The black cat creature appears so dark and magnificent in the photograph, you might think it's photoshopped. It has the lion's background color, brown jaguar-like rosettes, and the powerful build of the jaguar. On April 9, 2006, two jag lions were born at Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in Canada. Today, they are grown-ups and are living healthy lives. Number 5. Sarloose Wolf Dog This dog, or wolf, or whatever it is, has confused so many people, and rightly so. A big part of this confusion comes from the breed's wolf-like looks and heritage. The Sarloose Wolf Dog originated by breeding a dog with a wolf, though the initial pairing took place nearly a century ago. The wolf-dog hybrid created by Mr. Lanehart Sarlos in the 1930s in Holland was produced to establish strong and healthy breeds that could work diligently as a service dog. Unquestionably wolf-like in their appearance, the Sarlos wolf dog is just a hint of German Shepherd on display. Even though this doggo looks scary, it is actually a very shy breed. They require a patient owner who is compassionate and willing to work long hours with them to build their confidence and provide them with the stability that they crave. If you are a dog and wolf lover, then this breed is for you. Number 4. The Humanzi Next, let's dip our toes in the vast waters of heresy. If two Chinese scientists are to be believed, China nearly made the first hybrid decades ago. In 1967, they came close to creating a human-chimpanzee hybrid, and they would have succeeded if the project hadn't been shut down. Two scientists from Shenyang have claimed that they participated in an experiment in which they successfully impregnated a female chimpanzee with human sperm. Their ultimate goal was to create a more advanced chimpanzee, one with a bigger brain and a wider mouth. They hoped that these newly developed features would allow them to speak. If they were successful, life wasn't going to be easy for the new hybrid. They planned to have them pull carts, herd sheep, and even send them to space as experiments. The project fell apart because of the Cultural Revolution. Zealous revolutionaries smashed their lab and destroyed their work, and the chimpanzee died. The researchers claimed that she was already three months pregnant. In 1981, the scientists said that they planned to try again. Nothing never came of it though, likely because of the growing concerns about human ethics. Number 3. Tumor Fish Many people find fish with massive tumors atop their heads to be quite the conversation starter in their home, and there is actually a demand for them. These genetically created creatures are fast approaching the mad science for its own sake type of thing. I honestly can't see the appeal of this Frankenstein-esque creature. Still, at least we can be safe in knowing that these creatures are completely defenseless in the wild and even in captivity. Their tumor growths make it hard for them to eat and sometimes even breathe, which raises some very serious ethical questions. Number 2. The Sudden Death Mosquito Nope, they aren't genetically engineered super mosquitoes that gives you more than a minor irritation when it bites, although their name does make them scarier than they are. In actuality, their creators hope it will help in eliminating mosquito-borne diseases like dengue and malaria completely. Sudden death mosquitoes are genetically altered males that have been pre-programmed to die, but before they do, they pass on that same genetic trait to their offspring. These mosquitoes survive in the lab because they are constantly fed tetracycline. 
a common antibiotic that somehow represses the death gene. Out in the wild, they don't get access to tetracycline, hence the repressed gene kicks in. Scientists hope to release these mosquitoes in the wild and have them mate with wild females. The resulting offspring will carry the death and subsequently die young. Dengue is carried by mosquitoes and it is a scourge of urban areas in the developing world, much as malaria is in rural regions. Many mosquito elimination programs simply don't work and some are even harmful to the environment by the use of chemicals. Number 1. Vacanti Mouse you may have seen it in a textbook or on TV, a mouse with a human ear on its back. You might have thought that this mouse was genetically engineered or deformed, or the result of some mad scientist playing God. Well, all of this is true. The Vacanti mouse, or the enormous whatever you call that freaking thing, one thing is for sure. The mouse with the ear on its back is an icon of science, and it has been for more than 20 years. 20 years ago, Harvard surgeons experimented with techniques to create human body parts in the lab. They implanted the shape of a human ear in the back of a mouse as part of research to better understand how they could help grow human body parts. They put the mouse under anesthetic, made a surgical incision, and placed the ear shape under the skin. They published their results in 1997, which were really disturbing. Just looking at the hairless mouse will give you nightmares. After BBC aired a documentary on tissue engineering, the world saw the Vicente mouse. Throughout the public consciousness, the mouse is still an icon of the power of science. What do you think about these experiments, and which one was the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.